of this take on VC and welcome back to a no read through on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tim and T, the RW ongoing series is shot at 44 and this one could be interesting because this one's supposed to be the end of the story arc and stuff like that but in the last issue we did get to see the turtles or some of the turtles and other characters go down to the sewers to try and find Dr. Jasper Barlow but instead they end up going into some sort of nightmare and now Venus is going to about fight him so um, yeah Let's get this on. Let's go. They will all leave you, whether by choice or force. N no, don't. I created you, Venus, and I can destroy you. Ugh. No, you changed me, Barlow. But you did not create me. Ugh. You gotta get that dragon scale off him. Or at least try to take the out of those little creatures. But I might break their control over him. Don't you dare. I put so much work into you. You were supposed to be my masterpiece. So how dare you minimize my role. Mr. Gator, stop it. Stop it. Mr. Gator, wake up. Urgh. Wait. Do as you're told. Yours owls. Urgh. No. There they are. Mikey, let's girls. And don't let them pull you into a nightmare again. Trying. Be afraid. Thank you, Mushroom. Whoa, he's awake? You will never have my mind again, foul vermin. Without your source of power, you are nothing. Right behind you. That was just regular Chris's. Seems like it. And now, for myself. It is done. You gonna be okay? Mikey, we're waking up. What? What's happening to me? You really don't understand, do you? Without, dra without other dragon scales, without the energy you were so softening from them, you're not strong enough to control them, control your transformation. The scales are changed to create. They respond to your will and desire. You cease too much. Change without structure. Manifest as chaos. Venus! What happened? Barlow, we are all abominations, Donatello. And I'm going to put us all out of our misery. Dr. Barlow, just because you think you're abomination doesn't mean the rest of us are. I thought of mutants as unnatural, but all this, Barlow, this is unnatural. Koya, go for the dragon scales. We, we are unnatural. Mutation is destroying everything. The scales aren't going to keep multiplying, you guys. But if you figure out something, I have an idea. A magic spell I learned from my future self. I know you wish to die, Barlow, but I won't let that be that easy for you. Instead, I'll show you what you have become. Arrgh! You thrust change upon me, Jasper Barlow. And so, <clears throat> I'll give you the change. Venus, steady. As blue as the dawn fades, unmade, it is done. Thank you, Mushroom, for lending me your energy. You are powerful. No, no! This is my gift to you, Barlow. No, 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 no! Why can you have just killed me? I want to die, not this. We'll hand him over to Cara and Monty. Let's get out of here. Mushroom looks weird now. I look cool now. Yeah, I'm gonna go too. Good work, everyone. I better get these girls back to other picks. Thanks for the help, guys. I'll be in touch. Bye, Turtles. What about you, Lovehead? I won't be causing you any. F I won't be causing you any further trouble. Over next time we meet, you'll be as allies. I hope so too. You're all okay? Honestly, I was trapped in some kind of magical nightmare the whole time. So, Lepex, you got the tools to thank for this. Oh, poor little mushroom. Now she's got a dragon scale and everything. Look at you. Phew. So, what now? We're going to do to celebrate your Cla Claw Clan reunion. Hmm. Oh, you know what, Angel? I don't know. I was thinking maybe this Urban Ninja Clan thing isn't working. Maybe there's something else out there for me. Something I can keep messing up. Maybe I could uh, show Zinx and a mushroom a different sort of life. Something less dangerous. Something where they can be safe and just not to be looking over their shoulders all the time. Something somewhere else. When I hiked through Alaska that one time, there was so much out there. It's so big. I've always followed, I've always followed in other people's footsteps, Angel. I want to find my own path. I know. Do it. Once a renowned surgeon, Dr. Jasper Barlow, has a hard fall from grace and is now in police custody. Barlow's 
arrangement in Mutant Town's newly opened courthouse will begin next week. Goodness, you're not gonna have any pizza? No thank you, I'm vegan. Hey, that's cool, I respect that. I don't. That is criminal. Oh, uh, got some vegan opinions, Leo? I don't want to hear it. Choice? My choice isn't a moral judgement in cast and the rest of you. No, no, I think it's great Venus. It's just made me think about how we all have our own past, our own interests, all, all of that. We can make choices that are so different from one another, and it's fine, right? For instance, I want to go and live in Northampton on a more permanent basis, but it's okay if the rest of you don't want to do that, or if you do, then that's cool too. I know the vision Shrasa Barlow creatures showed us were warped and distorted to trick us, but I think they still held, us, held up a mirror in some way, maybe even revealed some sort of truth behind all of the nightmare stuff. I agree, but what are you getting at, Leo? I know it's rambling, I'm saying, I'm realising some of the things. I don't want any of us to feel obligated to follow each other's path, each other because we're all part of the same clan, or the same family. I'm not your commander. I get what you mean, man. If you have something we want to do or whatever, then you, then you want us to feel like we can. Exactly. I'll join Leo. I'll tell some last minute things in the lab. I want to visit the thin place again. I think I'm going to stay in the city and sail going out on Taurus, Surrey. I think this is where I should be. So, it's going to be up to me and Raph and Mikey to protect Mutant Town from bad guys, huh? Nah, I'm leaving too. Just going to do a little road trip to clear my head and figure some things out. From a bike across country. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to figure out how to let stuff go for once. I'm proud of you, Raph. Well, I'm not proud of you. Road trip? Lame. <laughs> You're just jealous you don't go a sick bike like I do. I'm so jealous for, for real. I'll miss you while you're gone. Guess I'll see you guys around, huh? Okay, okay, cut it out. You guys are acting like we're not going to see each other again. See you guys soon. Alright, I better read head up guys. I gotta go meet up with my own Cersei. And I've got brand practice. Don't wanna keep quiet waiting, heh. <laughs> you okay? I will be. Let's go find Venus and get to work. Donny, what's all this about anyway? You still haven't told me a thing. From your bone here. Armor gun. Uh, armor what? Right. And I need your help. Both of you. We're gonna need we're gonna fix everything. Wow, that was a really great issue. I think that it wrapped everything up really nicely. I, mm, I think like the story arcs were great. There were some parts which they could have improved upon, but I feel like this issue did like a really great job of like wrapping everything up and really heading things into a really great direction, which I must admit I'm looking forward to. And there's a lot of stuff which I'm looking forward to. And oh, I don't know because it feels like it's going to be a really great story arc for the next one. But at the same time, they split everyone up. I need to bring them back together again in the next uh, few issues, so that bit seems a little bit weird there, but other than that, this one was a great one to wrap things up, but uh, yeah, that's going to be for today, guys. If that's something, please share, let's subscribe and all stuff. Goodbye, yo. Bye.